Welcome in YouTube to part 3 of Morgan in Atari's adventures through post Stormblood. In this part we finish up patch 4.2, where more politics happen. Does he accept Asahi's agreement? Who knows? Find out. Like, comment, and subscribe down below and let me know what you're thinking of these videos. And don't forget you can catch me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash calebgames here, where I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays starting between 9 and 10 a.m. Pacific time. I love you YouTube and I'll see you in a bit. Alright, for want of a better suggestion, what say you to a brief tour of the newly liberated Doma? I'd be interested to hear how the people are faring in their own words, and it's not as if we'll be missed here. Or will we? Morrigan, a moment if you would. Ah, Yugiri! And... Asahi, was it? You have some business with Morrigan? Business? No. Pleasure, my lady. I merely wish to exchange a few words with the famed Slayer of Gods and Champion of Eorzea. It is truly an honor. Such heartfelt admiration. One could almost forget that you're an envoy of the Empire. Oh? Is that so strange? We may have stood on opposing sides in the past, but I see no contradiction in lauding the woman who would do battle with our common enemy. And lest you forget, this is my homeland. It would be remiss of me not to at least thank her for containing the threat posed by the Kojin's vile icon. Now if I may continue, as we speak, Lord Hien deliberates over my proposal, and I would take this time to see the land I once called home. The Lady Yugiri is certain to be a jovial escort. The excursion would be all the more enjoyable for your company, and safer besides. The ambassador has the right of it. He is not like to come to harm with you at his side. Will you join us? I am quite sure he will be safe with you, you giddy. Come now, Morrigan. There is not else for us to do until Lord Hian has reached his decision. And were we not this moment discussing how best to learn more about the current state of Doma? It's settled then. The four of us shall make a brief excursion through Yongsha. Might we start at the town of Monzin? I would see what has become of Doma Castle. Very well, if you will follow me. I don't want to do it, Yugiri. I don't want to do it. Let him explore on his own. Honored hero, you seek passage across the one river? I do. I do indeed. I never realized you can see the enclave from here. Right over there. All right. Nay, can this truly be Monzin? Home to the cream of Doma Samurai. I had heard that Yotsuyu intended to send some few of our automata here, but only by way of warning. It should not have come to this. Indeed, her savagery served only to incense the people and spur them to rise up in protest. It was folly to think such methods of governance could ever prove effective. <sighs> the sooner we can begin to make amends for this senseless destruction, the better. Securing supplies and support for the reconstruction effort should not prove difficult. Once our nations are formally at peace, of course. Yes, of course. If you would have a better view of what remains of the castle, we must proceed through the ruins. I know you, Giri. I don't trust him either. It is a travesty. A travesty. I remember the keep being so beautiful. In the light of the setting sun, one would swear it was a flame. It is indeed a doleful spectacle. Mayhap we will rebuild it one day, when we have finished helping our people to rebuild their lives. Spoken like a true popularis, 
the needs of the people must of course come first. Speaking of whom, would you be opposed to me seeing how they live firsthand? The village of Namai is but a shirt, short, a shit, a short journey from here, if I'm not mistaken. By river, yes. If you will follow me, if you follow, if you will follow me, I will ready our boat. Yep, this sounds about right. Ready to cast off? I guess. Get back! I'm warning you! Someone's in trouble. Interesting. Sounded kind of like a. Yep. The Kojin. The Red Kojin. Are you all right? Hi. What do they want with you? Yuki. And you're not too. Uh, uh... I don't know. We were returning from the Enclave when they came at us. It seems they won't go quietly. And neither will we. Are all of those just their auto attacks? Say out first. Then I'll figure out where she goes, but I'm gonna go help you giddy next. Apparently Asai can handle himself. I grow tired of these games. Where are our reinforcements? All this for two children. What do they even want with them? They mean to overwhelm us. See to their reinforcements quickly. Now, aim for the younglings. An opening. Stand in front of them. We'll bear the grunt of it. I have you. Did I say the grunt of it? The art of my forebears. If you would call for reinforcements, then so shall we. Hold your ground. I will try to draw away their reinforcements. It's gotta be the last of it, right? Final wave. Put your sword away. There you go. Duty complete. <sighs> that seems to be the last of them. You have nothing to fear, child. You are safe now. Thank you, sir. You saved us again. Thank you. If you're ever passing by our village, look us up. You'll always be welcome. Thank goodness we arrived when we did. Indeed. But what could have prompted the Red Kojin to stray so far from the Ruby Sea? Indeed. I presume these are the cell swords hired by Yotsu. If so, the answer is simple. Desperation. 
bereft of imperial employment, they seek other means to line their coin purses. Another sad legacy of the Empire's mismanagement. The Empire to which you have sworn allegiance. Must you always be so pointed? If we are to bring about lasting change, we must look beyond narrow allegiances. Mm. You have every right to doubt me. But in time, I hope you will come to see that we share a common goal. You and yours have fought fiercely to change the Empire from without. But if we are to end the cycle of conflict, the Empire must change from within. Am I wrong? Not about that. True reform can only come from within. I knew you would understand. You have witnessed such change firsthand, after all, during your time in Ishgard. Dear me, I had hoped to convey my views on our nation's shared hopes under more peaceable circumstances. Yet this regrettable little interlude did afford me a chance to see the famed Hero of Eorzea in action. And few Imperial soldiers can say that. At least few who live to tell the, tell the tale. Well, after that little ordeal, I believe it may be time for us to return to the Enclave. Return, my lord? But what of Namai? You seem so eager to observe the villagers going about their daily lives. To be frank, I still am. But I rather doubt the good people of Namai would take kindly to the sight of a man in imperial uniform with blood still dripping from his blade. Even in your company, my presence would only prove a distraction. Fret not, however, thanks to the three of you, I have seen a great deal more than I otherwise would. And with any luck, Lord Hian will have finished considering my proposal by the time we return. I don't like it. I'm with you, Alice. I don't like it. Thank you for agreeing to join me. If not for your aid, the Kojin may well have overwhelmed us. Pray go on ahead. Lord Hian is expecting you. I will remain without and keep watch over our guest. Well, we had best not keep him waiting. That was quick. That was a very quick quest. Welcome back, my friend. Yugiri tells me you accompanied her in Asahi on a tour of Yangsha. I had hoped you might take the opportunity to recover from your exertion, exertions at Sakazuki. But I gather your time was well spent. Until the ambassador affords you Giri a chance to make a full report, however, I must rely on you to supply the details. So please, tell us how it all unfolded. Well, we was fine until it wasn't. The Red Kojin, here. Have there been any other such incidents since the Liberation? Not that I am aware of. If they are planning some new venture here in Yangsha, we will need to increase patrols. In any event, I am indebted to you for fighting them off. But tell me, and don't be modest, was Asahi truly the first to leap to the youngster's aid? He was. I was quick to doubt him when we first met but his desire to save them seemed quite genuine. It's possible he truly believes what he's saying. In the time I've known you, you have always been an excellent judge of character. What do you make of the ambassador? I still don't think he can be trusted. Then the question of what his true intention may be remains. Regardless of his aim, I am resigned to playing his game. For now, at least. While well, forswearing summoning should be simple enough, considering you never dabbled in it in the first place, which just leaves the somewhat thornier question of how to police the Red Koji. 
It was with that very question in mind that I sought Alfino's counsel. Thanks to his knowledge of the icons and the rituals used to invoke them, I believe we've identified a workable solution. As you will recall, Susano was summoned forth using the power of relics locked away in the Kojin's treasure vault on the Isle of Zeki. Though said relics remain there to this day, it is all but certain the act of summoning exhausted their stores of ether, making subsequent summonings impossible. Assuming that is the case, preventing the Primal's return rests on denying the Red Kojin the means to amass new stores of ether, either via the acquisition of crystals or the relics they are wont to collect. For this I plan to enlist the aids of our friends the Blue Kojin. Since Doma's liberation we have forged closer bonds with Bunchen and his people, and with their support I am quite confident we can keep the Red from obtaining what they require to call upon this Susano. And what of the prisoners? They will be exchanged as agreed, and I will give full credit to Asahi for the success of the transaction. If there is aught we can do to help the popularists garner favor, I mean to see it done. But first, I have some un unfinished business to attend to. Would you all come with me? Yes, of course, but what manner of business? A past mistake which I should see put right, one which has weighed heavy on my mind. Interesting. Very interesting. I had her brought here in secret while the three of you kept our guest company. Oh shit. The world has not been kind to you, it is true. But that does not excuse your sins. You should be at the bottom of the river. She should, but she's not. Yet here you are. The living, breathing proof of my failure. A failure for which I would now make amends. What? What did I do? I don't remember. Was it really so terrible? Tell me, please! What did I do? You speak of sins, my lord. But at whose feet do those sins lie? Were the soldiers who committed the crimes, or those who commanded them to do so? With both, I would say. For all have a conscience, and all must choose. But with no memory of who she is, or what she has done, what sin remains to be cleansed? You ask that I show mercy. I ask why the heavens saw fit to deny me my rest. Why Yotsuyu was spared not only death, but the bitter memories of her life. You truly think it the will of the Kami? If so, her life is not mine to take. It is yours to safeguard. Come the hour of the exchange. If her memories have not returned, she may remain here in Doma to live out her days as Tsuyu. But if they do, the Garleans shall have their Viceroy. Though the people will protest, they will come to accept my decision when they have been reunited with their loved ones. Honestly, that seems fair. Thank you, my lord. Now then, I believe we have kept our guests waiting long enough.
Did Gosetsu not seem strange to you? His sympathy for your Tsuyu apart, I mean. I know his powers of endurance only too well, but after all he has suffered, even he should not be on his feet. He puts on a brave face for our sakes, but it would not surprise me if he lacked the strength to raise his blade. I mean, we already know he lacked that strength. We saw it. Though I suppose if he and Yotsu are to enjoy a life of peace and quiet, he will have little use for it. It falls to us to shape that future. One in which he need never again set foot on the battlefield. Ian. With Yotsuyu safely in Gosetsu's care, all that remains is to answer Asahi's proposal. I realize other matters demand your attention, but I would ask that you stay a while longer to see this business through. My apologies. Our deliberations took longer than expected. Think nothing of it. The time afforded me the opportunity to go on a rather rousing excursion through Yansha. You have reached a decision then? We are willing to cooperate with you in combating the Icon threat and also in the exchange of prisoners. Assuming you accept our conditions, of course. As you know, your sister is in our care. Due to certain complications, however, we are hesitant to release her into your custody. Complications? Yeah, she's missing her head. Sorry, sorry. She was inside Doma Castle when it collapsed. Though she survived, she remembers nothing of her past life, not even her name. To clarify, she is in our care not as a prisoner, but as a vulnerable citizen of Doma. Are you saying you refuse to release her? Not at all, if her memory returns before the appointed hour. And if not, what exactly? You will accommodate her here in Dorma? Well, I sincerely doubt she will be of any great strategic value to the Empire. She spends her days daydreaming of Dango. Dango? How dreadful. Very well. In light of our recent misstep in Sakazuki, it seems only fair that I show you the same understanding you have shown us. Though I do have one small request. Regardless of Yotsuyu's value to the Empire, she is yet my sister. Before I leave, might you permit me to speak with her in private? Of course. Perhaps you could even bring her a plate of dango. She would be most pleased. Yugiri will see you to her chambers.
Forgive me, my lord, but has he not been gone over long? Perhaps I should. Calm yourself, Kosetsu. I understand your concern, but we have to wait. He deserves that much. I am sorry to have kept you all waiting. Thank you for understanding. Long did I dream of this reunion, but I never did imagine it would be so joyless. A part of me hoped your stories of her condition were just that. But alas, it is as you say. Suyu, do you remember anything of this man? Anything at all? I... no. I am a stranger to her. That much was clear to me from a single look. I leave her in your care. As you wish. Now if you will excuse me, my superiors are long overdue a report. They will be elated to hear of our agreement. Of that I have no doubt. As for the exchange itself, once I have obtained the relevant permissions, I will arrange for your people to be relieved of their various duties and sent here to Yangsha. This will take time, of course. Of course! You may rest assured your soldiers will be well cared for until your return. We will also begin taking steps to better counter the threat of the Kojin and their icon. Before you take your leave, there is one other matter. I am informed it was you who took the lead in rescuing two young domans from a band of Kojin sellswords. I have not yet had the time to thank you properly. Please, there is no need to thank I only did what anyone would do under the circumstances. Fortunately, I was in good company at the time. The blight of the Red Kojin is of the Empire's making. Were it not for our transgressions, those children would not have been needed saving. The people of Doma have suffered enough, my lord, and I promise to do all in my power to spare them further pain, be it at the hands of the Kojin, or indeed the Empire. I pray the Emperor will see things as you do. There may yet be hope for us all. Until we meet again. Gosetsu, as before, I leave Yotsuyu to you. Okay. But what was said? I invite the rest of you to join me outside. Let's treat Asahi to a proper farewell. The Ambassador's airship awaits at Castrum Fluminus. Let us be off. I wish you a safe journey. This has been a most enjoyable visit. I look forward to our next meeting. Maxima, would you take the others and see that I all is ready it. for our departure? I simply cannot leave without first giving thanks to the Warrior of Light for accompanying me through Yansha. I knew Maxima looked familiar. I was just waiting for his name to be said. He plays a part in the game later. This is when you do it, you fucking little shit. Mark me. Savior of the savages, there will be a reckoning. Uh huh.
You've nowhere left to run, traitor! Ignorant savages! Killing us will avail you naught. For every Imperial you cut down, a thousand more will come. Abandon this foolish endeavor and surrender! You may yet serve our righteous cause. How dare you speak of righteousness? You who forsook kith and kin to serve conquerors! Be glad I grant you this mercy. Of course it was Xenos. Reinforcement? No, just one! Cut him down! Well, that's right. This is when Asahi fell in love with Xenos. to offer us resistance. A host of rebels led by Lord Cayenne hold the Enclave across the river. Lord Cayenne. The king of the... the former king of Dorma, sir. They say he is one of the greatest swordsmen alive. Is that what they say? Who was that? Surely you jest. That was Xenos Ye Galvas, Legatus of the Twelfth, the Crown Bloody Prince. I heard he was strong, but that... that was frightening. That was... Lord Xenos. Everything you are, your power, even your face, it vexes me. Go on. Lash out like the beast you are at an emissary and jeopardize the newfound peace between Dorma and the Empire. My lord was destined to lead us unto a glorious new age. Your light is nothing to his radiance. How did none of them see, like, this? I will cherish this moment. Lock it away within my heart. Until the day we meet again. His aggressive posture towards us.
You look troubled, my friend. Was it something he said? Of all the memories to witness, I had my doubts about him, but I would never have guessed he was a disciple of Zenos. My lord. Calm yourself, you giddy. I set no store by him or his enlightened brethren. But if by treating with them there is even the faintest hope we might secure the return of our conscripted brothers and sisters, I must play this game. After the way I risked their lives in the rebellion, I owe them that much. My lord, you bear no blame for their fate. If not blame, then responsibility. They were prisoners, and still I chose to fight, knowing they could be executed in retaliation. But now we have a chance to bring them home. If it means bargaining with a monster, so be it. My lord. Besides, I think he likes me. Which is more than some can say. Good one, Hian. Good one. Jackass. Respect. It makes no sense. Why would he bother keeping up the pretense for so long? Only to drop it right before the very end. Perhaps he no longer thought it necessary, having secured Doma's cooperation in the prisoner exchange. If he truly is the disciple of Xenos, tis possible emotions simply got the better of him. Remaining calm around the woman who slew his lord will have taken its toll. Whatever the explanation, now is not the time for hasty reprisals. We shall proceed as planned. The Red Kojin must be placed under surveillance and the Garlean prisoners made ready for the exchange, but you need not concern yourself with the details. Leave the affairs of Doma to us. When the hour of the exchange draws near, we will call for you. I should certainly hope so. Whatever the Empire's true intent, we would be on our hand we would be on hand to play our part, either to defend Doma or to help usher in a lasting peace. I had thought we might use this time to return to Eorzea, but given the volatility of the situation, mayhap it would be best if we remained in Kugane. Agreed. Between Yatsuyu's amnesia and Asahi's dubious agenda, I'd say we have ample reason to remain in the neighborhood. If anything should happen, anything at all, you must send for us at once. Oh, I will. On that you have my word. Charting a path through this sea of troubles promises to be difficult enough. I am not so proud as to attempt the feat alone. To Kugane, then. Tataru and the others must know of what transpired here. Because a lot has gone down in this patch. And I still can't stand Asahi's face. He's just so smug. And if Morangan... Could have, she would have just smacked him. All right, Hancock, what you got? My, it seems you're all in quite the predicament. Well, should we receive any urgent missives from Doma, rest assured you will be the first to know of it. Yes, of course. We're discussing ideas to replenish our coffers, but I suppose that all can wait if any urgent news should come through the office. Ah, ahem. About that. I wish to apologize to Taru. It was reckless of me to make such a purchase without first consulting you. You may be certain, however, that I mean to reimburse the Scions, even if it means drawing upon my personal funds. That's very thoughtful of you. But I'm sure it won't come to that. If Soroban's business proposition is as promising as it sounds, Morrigan should have no difficulty wiping the bread from our ledger.
Forgive me, Morgan. It would seem I have unwittingly heaped my financial troubles upon you. I swear I will pay you back. Though I fear I will struggle to cobble together anything of monetary value, knowledge I, knowledge I can gather in abundance. To start, I plan to investigate the divisions forming within the Empire. Mayhap Ryle and his associates have heard something on the subject. Regardless, the more we know about the politics of Garlemald, the better our chances of predicting the Imperial's next move, which might yield you an advantage on the day of the prisoner exchange. Knowing what we do of Asahi's apparent resentment towards you, I cannot say what he hopes to gain from it. But if there is even the slightest chance that a, that a lasting peace could be forged between Doma and the Empire, what choice have we but to try? Lord Heian had the right of it. Asahi may very well be a monster, but we must play his game for now. Alright. We'll take the uh, armor of fending, even though we're just going to end up selling it to the Grand Company. Arranging the prisoner exchange proved easier than I thought. Yes, my lord will be most pleased. Everything is going according to plan. Dun. 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 Can you truly remember nothing? Nothing at all? Were we... friends? Yes! We were good friends, you and I. In fact, I've brought you a gift. I pray that one day soon, as you gaze into that mirror, you will remember the woman staring back at you. It's so pretty. Who are you? Who are you? Meanwhile, in the Imperial Capital. How are you feeling, my lord? Dun, Fine, dun, dun. now leave me. But how? We watched him die. Thanks for watching YouTube part three of Morgan in Atari's adventures through post Stormblood, where we finished up patch 4.2. Um, I'm excited. We're getting close to uh, a trial that is one of, in my opinion, one of the most fun, but also one of the most difficult. Thanks for watching YouTube. Don't forget you can catch me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Caleb Games here where I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, usually starting between 9 and 10 a.m. Pacific time. I love you, YouTube. I'll see you around.